Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to show you how to claim Litecoin Cash with the Nano S Ledger. So if you go to Litecoin Cash website, so, so when you scroll down, I think I've gone too far. So they're talking about you can use the 24 word uh, PIP39 phrase in conjunction with an offline tool such as this one. I will get to this in a minute which you must save and run locally while disconnected from the internet. That too can derive your private key from the 24 word phrase. So from the ledger. Uh, remember when we first set up the ledger, you have to write down the 24 uh, key phrase, uh, recovery phrase uh, to recover your ledger, just in case something happened. However, you really shouldn't do this. For one thing, you will need to reinitialize re your ledger in order to practice safe logging. So once you do this process, you have to reinitialize your ledger and then re, uh, you know, reinitialize with a new 24 word phrase. But the thing is, uh, I'm not sure once you reinitialize the, uh, the new set of 24, uh, 24 word phrase, will the previous pirate key also will uh, appear in the new 24 word phrase? That part I'm not sure. Probably. Once you do that, I probably need another ledger. Or if somebody knows, let me know. So let's get into it right now. So if you click this one, it will go to uh, this, or well, actually from the ledgerwallet.com. So before you even do this, make sure you empty out your ledger. Empty out your Ethereum, empty out your Bitcoin, whatever, Dash, whatever, just transfer it somewhere else. Just make sure it's empty. So uh, once you get to this page, turn the Wi-Fi or internet off. Then you click the 24 uh, words, because we are doing 24 words recovery phrase from the ledger, right? So you key in the 24 word phrase that you got it from the ledger when you initially set up the uh, device. So I already type it in here. And then here, change the Litecoin. The default is Bitcoin. And here the B44 is the legacy and B49 is, is the, the segue. So depending on where you put your Litecoin. And here is the address of the, the public address associated with this pirate key. So I copy the public address from the ledger. Uh, this is just for demonstrate purposes, so it's not the, the real address. So I copy the public address. So I just copy and paste and control find. So I find this public address associated with this private key. So that uh, that I hold my Litecoin during the half fault. So you copy this private address and then you will go to the uh, Litecoin Cash Core wallet. And then you will go to file, import private key. And then you will paste that private key in here. You just click OK. And then it will say, do you want to rescan? Yes, rescan. So once they rescan, they will credit you back the uh, Litecoin Cash. So this is how you uh, retrieve your private key. As I said earlier, uh, the ledger, I'm not sure after we initial, re initialize the device, will, that, uh, will the private key from the previous uh, 24 word phrase will also be uh, the same as the new one. So that part I'm not sure. So probably I will not use the ledger again for the time being until we get that clarified. And for the engine wallet or load wallet, you go to the same program. Uh, you actually can get this program in the GitHub. Uh, let's see. So this is in the GitHub, you get this program. The uh, bit 39 so you click this then you go to uh the let's see, hold on. so you go to this oh it's not this one yeah it's this one so you go to this uh so you turn off the internet again so you change to 12 because uh engine wallet and low wallet is a 12 word, uh, 12 word uh, recovery phrase. So you key in the recovery phrase. And once again, you change it to Litecoin. And then you scroll down. 
and then um, whatever address from your load wallet or engine wallet you just go to control find and then you key in the address in here and then you find the address this public address associated with this private key so you copy and paste the private key again and then you go to the Litecoin uh, cash core wallet and then you import the private key so this is from the so that is from the load wallet and engine wallet because I couldn't find a function on those two wallets that I can export the private key like the Jazz wallet or Exodus wallet but the thing is before you do that make sure you empty out all your wallet uh, whatever crypto you have empty out everything like just transfer it to somewhere else so after you do that I will create a new wallet again I'm not going to use that wallet anymore and currently it's trading at Ubit, Ubit. Uh, at this time I uh, still couldn't deposit uh, to the exchange so if you guys can deposit to the exchange let me know Mergen talks uh, actually I tried to find Litecoin uh, I couldn't find Litecoin in trading in here it's not listed yet trade Satoshi is the same thing I checked uh, it earlier Litecoin cash is not there I mean Litecoin cash not Litecoin so for the mean exchange um, it's still in beta version when you go back to the Litecoin cash uh, website we talk about this mean x trade beta version use at use it at your own risk uh, they start trading at a crypto bridge this is a decentralized exchange but this exchange is very slow and uh, the volume is not that high the highest volume currently is in Yobit so until we have a you know until we can Go to a better exchange otherwise uh it's difficult to sell right um the mean x trade uh i think some of the users are telling me currently uh i, th I think previously they're selling at a dollar for litecoin cash so i'm not quite sure but here is the uh yet yobi is still 469 so i haven't checked the crypto bridge yet how much is it but the thing is crypto bridge the volume is not that high anyway but you can go and check it out i mean it's a decentralized exchange and everything and another function you can go um you can go to this uh check lcc balance so like on cash you can just uh, copy and paste your public address in here and then you can check the LC, uh, like on cash balance so let me know what you think uh if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my ch channel and also share the video with your friends uh, I also have some other videos about ongoing ICO and upcoming ICO. Check it out. I'm not a financial advisor. Please use the due diligence to invest your money. In, uh, investing in ICO has inherent risk. Do your research and use your due diligence. I'm not responsible for the loss of your Litecoin or other cryptocurrency. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace.